um, just lit up the Tuscany lemon sugar cookie. My favorite candle by far, guys. Favorite candle here, I'll show you. The lemon sugar cookie Tuscany candle. Okay, if you can get your hands on this. I have smelled the Yankee candle Sicilian lemon and it's got nothing on Tuscany. The throw on that thing is amazing. And one of the other things that I love about it is I blow it out, exit my apartment, and when I come back, I know I was burning it earlier that day. Um, likewise, at night when I burn it, I wake up the next morning having obviously extinguished the candle prior to going to bed. And my apartment still smells like lemon sugar cookie. So that is $6.95 from Kroger, well spent. I mean, honestly, far and away. All right, we're at our usual, at my usual uh, weekend stompings. We were like, we're both really craving it. Um, but they're open, so my mom got the exact same thing I did. There she is. Hi, everybody. Hey. So we were just talking about how you're thinking about um, making some more vegan switches. So she got the exact same vegan lettuce switch that I did. The black bean burger is a lettuce switch, and so yeah. So you're yeah. You want to study it? And you've got your um, Turvis tumbler water here. And got, oh yeah, your throat coat tea. You like that stuff. You got a good one. What do you normally order at your witch witch? What have you been with? Uh, well, I was getting the deli meat. Yeah, you're not doing that anymore. And so you were saying you're, um, you've got to finish some cheese tortellini, and you got to make your way through that last stick of butter. And then, <laughs> you know. I'll show you what uh, my mom got at Costco, and some of it I we divvied up and I took half of. But my mom got uh, these uh, Ricolas, and I'm probably gonna take some because these are handy to have on hand uh, if you ever get a kind of a uh, frog in your throat. And I like to actually have these before I go to the gym for my run, just as kind of a little quick glucose release. And I find they're nice to have during a run because they. Um, 
They just taste good, <laughs> period. Um, moving right along, she also got herself a, a large bag of the organic fresh broccoli. This stuff is pretty good. Um, we had some of it last week during the storm that she had from her fridge, and I've had this in the past. It is a good one, and it really does keep well in the fridge for one person. Um, if you're ever worried about that, it has a pretty long shelf life, and you'll get uh, your money's worth out of this. It's a good deal. She also picked up... Um, these hearts of romaine. I think my mom likes to make lettuce wraps with those. Yes. Is that what you do? And she also gets this table side chunky guacamole. I think she puts it in the lettuce wrap with legumes, which is delightful. These are great. We had some of these during the uh, storm as well. This is what we had on our um, on our rice cakes that day as a sneaky snack. Moving right along. My mom has a strong uh, citrus uh, liking, I suppose, so she got a large bag of limes and lemons. She also got herself a uh, two and a half pound bag of the Mean Green that I myself am a fan of. And we split up uh, some tofu. My mom's not really uh, familiar with cooking with this, so I thought I would show her some of my, how I do it by cooking it here for her. So I'm giving her. I, I purchased this and I'm giving her two to keep here. I store this, um, this is the tofu that I love from Costco. It's organic, non-GMO. Um, you either like tofu and soy products or you don't. Um, I don't mind soy, so I enjoy this tofu. And so I'm gonna have this here to make for her, perhaps in the future. But it keeps a long time and it's good. Um, my mom, is, as she verbalized in, uh, the other day in the vlog, is a um, rabid, is a uh, avid nut nut consumer. So she got a three pound bag of uh, the Kirkland almonds. These are very good. This is the gum that she purchased, and we split up a thingamajig of these organic red beets. And these are really nice because they're ready. They're already cooked and peeled and everything. So. Um, we also got the Crofters Berry Harvest Organic Jam. This is a two-pack. I took one and she took one. I've got some fun recipes in mind with this. Um, it looks like a good one. It's just uh, a fruit spread with some sugar, of course, for jamage, but not too offensive in the um, ingredient profile. And then we split up a container, a, a aliquot, I guess, if you will, of the Kirkland Organic Unsweetened Almond Milk. I took three, as did my mother, so that is our shared uh, Costco haul. <laughs> Good news, guys! In we swung into Kroger and look what was purchased. <laughs> Subliminal messages were received. <laughs> Pressure's on. I gotta get that crochet right now. My mom's already started with some of her fall decor, and look how cute this thing is, guys! It is so adorable. This little owl doohickey. What is this? A uh, just a can? Uh, a light bulb in there? That's cute. And then I made this as a child, and it still seems to be hanging on. Here, I'll show you guys in the light. This is made out of... This is something I made um, a long time ago as a child out of Sculpey clay. I really loved crafting with Sculpey. It's something I always get a desire to do again. It's a little scarecrow here and a little crow, and I guess I wrote out it's fall, y'all, and a little pumpkin, and I purchased this bale of hay, I think, at Michael's. Um, I'm pretty proud of that for a child. Um, I did not make this, um, but it's cute. It's a little mini um, pumpkin carving station. Then uh, this is a photograph of me in a pumpkin patch, I believe sometime maybe in my med school years. I can't quite remember, but. And there's a little acorn. And she has a little uh, key bowl here that says blessings, appropriate for the transition into the fall harvest and Thanksgiving. So. This is a mug that we um, each got at Pier 1 Imports, and I used to have one too, but mine, um, the handle broke off of it. I really loved it. My problem with the engineering of this mug, however, is that, because you want, I'm right-handed, See, I'm right-handed, but you can't drink out of the front of it. So it's designed for a lefty. That was my one uh, reservation with this. And then my handle broke off, so it was sort of cheaply made. But hers has uh, stood the test of time better than mine did. 
Well, hey guys, I just got um, home and went to the gym, had a great workout, and tonight I'm doing a bentonite clay mask, uh, the egg white pore mask by Skin Foods. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about this because my review went up this week and you guys are asking some questions about it. And I want to talk specifically about the ingredient bentonite, um, hopefully in an effort to inform you guys when you're like looking at these masks, especially a lot of them that are on the pricier side, um, and really um, why bentonite is, is important. Bentonite is an ingredient that uh, can mop up sebum or oil, okay? And it is in most of these kind of mud clay masks, if you will. And, it, you know, it's really what the magical Amazonian clay is, essentially bentonite, you know, and, and back in the day, you know, um, some of the early acne studies, uh, they quantified sebum production by actually using, uh, you know, bentonite impregnated sheets, I believe, and daubing it on people's foreheads um, as a way to quantify uh, oil production. So basically what this ingredient does is it transiently mop, it mops up you know, sebum and oil, okay? So if you're somebody on the shinier side, these kinds of masks are likely appealing to you, okay? And essentially, that is what this guy is by, um, by Skin Foods. It doesn't even have eggs in it. It has albumin, which is the most abundant protein in egg white. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a protein that binds things up, so maybe putting that in there gives it a little boost. I'm not entirely sure, nobody is looking at that. But I talk about bentonite with this uh, mask specifically because many people ask me about this magical Amazonian clay mask. I think that's a great one. I personally haven't tried it. It is essentially bentonite, okay? That is the magic, all right? It's no magic, it's in all of these things. Um, what, what I like about it is it's relatively affordable and what I like is the approach of, if you're gonna be doing these things for fun, uh, reconstituting it in water. Um, please do not reconstitute it in this apple cider vinegar nonsense. I, you know, I get questions about, about that. Um, apple cider vinegar applied to the face, no data that that is helpful at all, but the only thing in the middle medical literature in terms of apple cider vinegar applied to the skin is case reports of adverse effects of people doing this. And by adverse effects, I mean chemical burns. So please don't do that. Um, just reconstitute it in water. Um, this is another bentonite mask that I'm rather fond of, the Neutrogena Clear Pore um, Acne Mask. Not only does this product contain bentonite, um, it also contains an active ingredient that is established as being efficacious for acne, benzoyl peroxide. So, you know, another one that is a bentonite clay mask is that that pricey um, Glam Glow mask. That is an, a bentonite clay mask that, in addition to bentonite, has um, salicylic acid and a few alpha hydroxy acids. So it makes sense that people like it and, and feel that it's effective. But I cannot justify seventy. This is like seventy bucks for that thing. So. You know, hopefully this little discussion is informative and, and hopefully educating you guys as consumers with these masks that honestly, I mean, uh, you know, if you've got acne and oily skin and you're looking to to treat both, um, you know, look for the active acne ingredients, benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, glycolic acid can be slightly helpful. Um, and then, you know, if you're oily, shiny and, and want some transient oil uh, control, if you will, is it a bentonite mask? And you know, the, the cost at the end of the day is really just in the, the smoke and mirrors packaging. Um, the Glam Glow pot is, is pretty cute. Honestly, it's a little cuter than this, but hey, I mean, you know, I imagine that it's no more efficacious than this bad boy. This one doesn't have an active acne ingredient. It just has bentonite and that albumin stuff. Um, but I am, I'm enjoying it and I hope you guys enjoyed the review of it, so. Um, is bentonite necessary? Are these masks necessary? Absolutely not. Uh, they're just kind of fun to do and you know I can imagine them being helpful if you're going out uh, for a night on the town and, and you're feeling kind of shiny. I think it could you know help transiently diminish your pores potentially and decrease shininess without being harsh um, and actually you know has some some reported you know, data behind it as being functional. So that's a functional ingredient in these masks uh, for you to be aware of. But otherwise, they're just kind of fun to do, to be honest with you. But 
Speaking of fun, I had a great time with my mom. Glad things are rolling back into place after Harvey and my heart goes out to everybody whose lives were, you know, so tremendously impacted. I'm grateful for the opportunity to hopefully give back more to the community um, with volunteering efforts that I've, you know, been um, active in. So I'm grateful for those opportunities because I just feel, we feel so blessed. So, and thank you guys again for all of your sweet words of encouragement. It's really meant a lot to us. So. So um, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.